All right, well, the, the big thing that I do really want to talk about, we against the rules, we talked about this in, during the setup, but you got some new barefoots here. And I remember you had talked about it last time yep. that you were you were gonna get them. And but you also praised the Amphians like crazy. Yeah. So They're two different brands to me. Yeah? yeah. Okay, explain the, the two. We got to hear it luckily, but Well, I'm slightly confused lately because the barefoots do sound so good that I would almost I would love to kind of rough a mix in, but the Amphions like the only word I can think of with them is mid-range. Mid-range. There's so much mid-range clarity and yeah like depth and like, I feel like that's where your mix kind of sits because that's what's going to translate between right. all things. Right, and yeah. Our ears are tuned to mid-rangey stuff so we can hear more detail in it and the Amphions represent that sort of frequency range so well. It's so easy to like balance things and right. know if things are sitting right, whereas the barefoots are like just fun. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an advantage to having a, like a non-pleasing sound? Yeah, absolutely. Almost. It's the same mentality as NS10s. Right. You know, right. They don't, they're not particularly good sounding speakers, but if you can get them to sound good on NS10s, you're probably going to be okay everywhere else. Right. And so the, yeah, so the ideal is that you're listening to it, you're getting it sounding great there, mm -hmm. and then you take it out to the car and whatnot. Like there's, I've read a couple of things on the Amphions, and some people have said that the white thing is like them paying homage to the NS10 because oh. they're very similar in oh, okay. the same brain that looks at NS10s and says they make sense would probably look at Amphions and say they make sense because they're so mid forward. Right, right. Yeah. And so the new barefoots come in, those are kind of just like an exciting... They're like hypey. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't even know if they're hypey. They just like are a lot of fun. There's like yeah. tons of top end, like stereo width. I mean, you can hear depth and everything too. So part of me thinks you could probably mix pretty well on them. But I you just, still mix on these. I just trust them more. Yeah. Like okay. I'll, I guess I monitor my low end a little bit more on the barefoots because I think they go down a couple. A little and are further. you just bouncing back and forth during a mix, or for the most um, part you you hang out with these? If I was going straight into mix, well, I'd go straight to the Amphions because wow. they do take a second for my ears to adjust to. Right. But then once once you adjust to the Amphions, I feel like they're like part of your brain. It's very so, strange. <laughs> what, are these like primarily for? Clients then is that what you're saying pretty or? much and also like I I do some production stuff So if I'm trying to get excited about stuff, right. I like to turn stuff up a little yeah. bit and like if I'm doing some yeah. synth or or guitar parts or whatever uh, I'll just crank it up and be over here like it's, playing something. It's funny It's not the first time that we've we've talked to studios who say that they have one pair like an NS10 for mixing mm -hmm. And they have something that the the clients need to understand they need yeah. to feel like they're driving in their car listening to the radio Well, I don't know what it is about the Amphions. I feel like they're delicate, so I don't like They're also so mid for it and so clear that you can work at extremely low volumes. Right, yeah, you couldn't but, handle uh, the Yeah, so when, I start, so loud, when yeah. I start pushing them, I get weird about it, right. I don't know. So <laughs> these guys, I like, crank them up and it's just fun and cool. I don't yeah. feel stressed about it because they're like crazy powerful. And Yeah, and, and so uh, these are called Footprint 01s. Yep. And they just came out like uh, a NAM or when did these come out? Like super recently. Yeah. Yeah, and they're and they're like reasonably affordable in in the barefoot range. Mm -hmm. and I I think I have heard some amazing things about them, which yeah. is cool. It's cool that like a company you know barefoot kind of rose to essentially to the top pretty quickly, and for them to to have something that is no compromise. Yeah, but it's you know yeah it's still like affordable. trying to push it into the consumer, like so the average guy can consider buying them, or even though I like. Uh, what's it called? Emerging producer. Right. Can right. think about getting to that like top level monitoring situation. They're a great option. I really think they are. How does it make sense that you have a speaker out here like bashing against that? I worried that, about that because yeah. they're side firing drivers. Yeah. Um, but I looked it up and it's like as long as you have about whatever an inch or something, I should look wow. more into it. But <laughs> like I said, when I get yeah. into mix, I'm very paying more attention to detail on the Amphions. Right. These guys are a lot of fun. I don't think there's a problem with. The low end like that. Yeah. The drivers don't like fucking explode out of the yeah. speaker, so. It's so cool. 